All right, thank you very much, Jared Ware, Hillary Costa. And now joined by our Newport Gulls Colt players of the game. We got Mark McCoy, tonight's starting pitcher. But first, we're going to start with Shay Donlin. Shay, uh, good night at the plate. Three for four, a walk. As uh, on the leadoff spot, you've been really producing here in the playoffs for the Gulls. Yeah, it's been feeling good. Getting to early work on time with uh, Coach Faleva. Helps out, you know, just get the fastball and attack it. No runs bad in tonight, but in the series against Sanford, you drove in five. Where <laughs> and how you get the pie in the face here at Cardine's Field. So we got a double pie in the face for both McCoy and Donlin. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so Shay will continue with you since you got it, you got it, didn't get it as bad as, as Mark. Was that so? Of course, five RBI for you, Shay, uh, in the series against the Sanford Maiders. The goals have not won ten straight wins. Of course, since you've been in the leadoff spot, I've been pretty hitting pretty hot. Yeah, I mean, I've had some success up at the top of the lineup, and the, you know, just try to get on base for the for the bigger guys in the lineup to try to score me. Good stuff. Good stuff. Sorry, is that how I get the towel, bud? <laughs> He's got the shaving cream in his nose a little bit. So, but we'll ask you one more question too. Uh, of course, Trey Stanton had to sit out tonight's game with the suspension of being ejected on on uh, Tuesday, uh, Monday, up at uh, Good Old Park. Actually, I, had a, I already had a tight shave this morning. Um, but uh, you had to start at short short tonight. You also had to fill in a shortstop in that contest when he was thrown out in the yeah. seventh. So uh, you know, I don't know how much experience you've had at shortstop. Of course, you've been starting second baseman almost all summer here for Newport. Yeah, no, in high school I played shortstop. So I mean, I haven't gotten much reps in college, but I mean it's. Just a little bit longer throw, got to be a little bit quicker. I mean, can't much for us, you know, can't much for most, <laughs> sorry. Can't ask for much more than just uh, trying to make the routine plays. Yeah, a little bit of a different defensive alignment here tonight. We'll be back uh, to routine tomorrow, though. Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely have the back, the routine back, I don't know. All right, Shay Down, I'll let you go get cleaned up and get you the post-game meal as well. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Mark, out of boy. Go get him. Shay Down, our goal is offensive player of the game. As we hit the... Uh, the shaving cream all over us here. Uh, Goals, big postseason win here. Mark McCoy, you're a big part of that. Six strong shutout innings here in your start, first start of the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, it felt pretty good. I hit my spots, it had all my pitches working, so I just went after them. Uh, that's what I did today. Now you've had some walk trouble in a couple of your outings this season, about a 2-1 to strikeout to walk ratio in the summer. Hit tonight, only two walks, six innings. You scattered five singles, all in different innings. I think that was a key as uh, you really kept the hitters off balance and the scooters really just went, weren't able to string any hits together off of you. Uh, yeah, I mean, baseball is all about timely hitting, and uh, if you can strand together, I mean, you can give up five hits, but as long as you give them up those uh, periodically, and then with the whole walks thing, yeah, walk, walks is my biggest biggest enemy. Sometimes I kill myself for walks, and that was one of the biggest things I had to focus on this summer, and uh, I think I'm starting to figure it out. So uh, as a starter, again, uh, you've uh, improved steadily, of course, as the summer has gone on. And against the Schooners team, a hot hitting team, they, they scored 18 runs in two games against Ocean State, sweeping them coming into this series here tonight. For, for them just to get one run off the goals bullpen here, uh, that's a pretty solid uh, game one. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty solid game one. I mean, I had, no, I had no idea they scored 18 runs off the uh, Ocean State. But, uh, I mean, as long as you just hit your spots, pitch your game, I mean, we, we could be anybody. Now, you've pitched – 10 games in the regular season, a few starts as well for Newport. Here in postseason play, do you go out there with a different mindset? You know, is there any more tension? In your, is it in the back of your mind? Um, I mean, not really. But, I mean, you know, it's always in the back of your mind. I mean, playoff game, big atmosphere, big game. So it's kind of in your back of your mind, but you try you try not to think about it that much, and you try to just focus on pitching and pitching your best performance. Now, Mark, you had about 100 pitches through five innings. You came back out for the sixth, though. Uh, yeah, coach wanted to take me out, but I was like, no, I want to go back. I want to finish it. So, uh, I mean, I'm used to throwing that much. I used to do that in high school. I mean, I take care of my arm, so it really doesn't affect me that much. And uh, as it's, it kind of seems as the later I go, the stronger I get. So I think I had my best fastball in the last thing, actually. Good ask you about two key defensive plays in this ball game. Costa goal is another errorless game here tonight. But uh, you're a diving catch off the mound. You usually don't see a pitcher make a diving catch like that to end the inning with two runners on. That was huge. Uh, yeah, uh, it was a big spot. I saw the ball up, and uh, I knew I wasn't going to get to it uh, on the ground. Uh, so I just dove for it. I didn't want it to bounce because I didn't want to make, make – because it was, it was spinning weird in the air. So I just laid out for it and caught it. And then uh, to end your outing, that – Fly out into a double play. Timmy Robinson able to turn two out in right field. Yeah, that, that was a big time play. I mean, I didn't even notice the guy was that far off the base, and he just next thing I know, he threw it to the base. I was like, wow, we got him. Yes, great. So it, it, it was it was cool. It's it's fun playing with these guys. So ten straight wins now for the goals, and spirits have to be pretty high at this point. Uh, yeah, I mean, spirits are really high. I mean, we got through the gauntlet last week, a doubleheader every game. So now these single games feel like a breeze to us, and uh, 
We're just going to keep rolling tomorrow, hopefully. We're going to see Mick Van Vossen tomorrow. What will we see from the righty? Uh, hopefully a great game. I mean, Mick's been great for us this year, and uh, he's coming back off from an injury. But for him, it doesn't matter. Same thing. He just wants to compete and get back on the mound. The goals uh, got to the schooners uh, early here tonight, Mark. How important was that run support? Uh, it's it, it, it's it's important. I mean, as as a starting pitcher, you want to keep the lead to uh, you want to keep the game close. But getting three runs off the bat, you kind of kind of can breathe a little bit and pitch your game, and it kind of puts them in a little hole because they're trying to do too much, and you can just keep throwing strikes. All right, Mark McCoy, your goal is play the game. We'll just go get cleaned up and get the post game meal. All right, thanks for joining us. I'll send it back up to Jared Ware and Hillary Costa with more as our post game show continues here on the NACBL Broadcast Network. Jared and Hillary.